I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Now, today's video is going to be awkward. I have no idea where I'm going with it. And like, I didn't plan for it. I just thought it would be a really fun idea <sighs> to just talk about how excited I am about the release of my favorite series last book which is Red Rising my favorite series and Morning Star is the last book that's coming out written by Pierce Brown so I came across Red Rising at Walmart randomly looking for a new book to read and I saw the cover and I was like ooh I like that whole like red wing thing going on what's this about you know like what are you about I mean seriously that's like really that's an eye catcher. It was for me. I like the font and all that stuff. And I saw it and then I read the back, which is actually an extremely short synopsis on the back of the freaking paper bag. And I was like, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then it's really funny though, because I was like, no, why didn't I get it? I left Walmart and I was like, I should have gotten the book. Something about it was just really calling my attention. I need to go back to Walmart. I need to get it. But it was like already super late and I was lazy and I didn't feel like going back that night so I was definitely going to go the next day. And that night I saw Toshopolis talk about the hottest young adult author and she was just making a video about Pierce Brown and how gorgeous he is yada yada yada. And I was like oh my god I was just thinking like I was going to buy that book today and I totally didn't. And then her talking about what the book was about because she kind of briefly talked about it I don't remember exactly. And I was like, oh my god, I definitely have to go back. So that just assured me I seriously needed to go back. Got the book. I think I was, I don't remember what I was reading at the time, but I finished that book and started reading Red Rising like immediately. All the other books on my TBR were like, F it. I started reading it. And within the first like 20 pages, I was already like, I was gone. I was a goner. I was sucked into the world. Mars and all this terraforming and just everything you guys may not know this about me but my one of my like top five absolute favorite films ever is Total Recall like the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger on Mars not like on the other side of the earth but like I absolutely love that movie I've seen it a million times it's my not guilty pleasure like it's just one of my favorite movies so seeing this and like I had images of like underground the part where you know the girl has like third tits like you know down there with like all the other people slumming it um that's like what I imagined just like instead of with deformed people like people with red hair and like slightly red skin and all these other things and I was just really able to visualize everything and I immediately fell in love with the character that Darrow is you know Yes, he's a 16 year old boy, but what really stood out to me is this is a 16 year old boy who handles himself like a man. But I mean, I understand in his world, he is considered a man at 16. You are a man, you get married, you start your family, you have your job. Like it's very different. It's kind of like how it was way back in the olden days here in the place we called earth, you know, everyone married very young and stuff like that. So I think that's just something that right off the bat really caught my attention because it was different. Darrow is such a an amazing character and that's probably the, like the bait like the reason why I love it so much is because of Darrow throughout the whole book he's put through a lot of things I'm not going to spoil anything for you and he's just put through a lot of stuff he wants to um you know like he wants to do things for his people for himself for EO and for all these things and he grows from everything that he does for them and then in turn ends up being for himself and he's just very like I made a mistake how can I fix it or this isn't how it's supposed to be how can I fix it he's not like one of those typical you know protagonists in a book where oh everything I do is perfectly fine and even though I fucked it up it's gonna be all right even though no one's gonna do anything about it and then it's just magically gonna be okay I hate that because that's not real it's not realistic obviously this book's not realistic they live on Mars but I mean there's just some things you can handle and then on top of that I like the lingo in the book I like the way the world is developed 
for you. You have these like little moments of like information dumping and like world building dumping but then as you keep going it's all explained slowly but surely so it's like okay you got everything in one shot right now you're gonna get that space and here's another dump you're gonna get more information I actually really like that as opposed to it I don't like slow building and then if it's just too much too quickly you're just like whoa I just I'm so confused and that didn't happen with that. So the pace of it and everything was just super up my alley. And I just really enjoyed it. And the thing is, the character interactions throughout the book are so good. Like Darrow and Severo and like Taro and like just like all of these people. And like things happen that you're not expecting to happen. And there's a lot of plot twists. This is probably one of the only or very few series where as things are happening, I've never been able to really like guess and be 100% correct. I might have like one part and by one part I mean like 1% of the entire plot twist or whatever was going to happen correct and the rest of the 99% was like what? I was not expecting that. You know like there's very few things that I've been able to predict and I hate like it's nice to be able to predict and be like oh I knew it was right but at the same time it's nice to not know what's coming. Because then if not, it takes away the fun out of reading. So, you know, like, those are just so, those are the many aspects of Red Rising that I love. And not just that, but I just love the story as a whole. I think the government and how everything was explained and how it was built is very interesting and really fucked up and really amazing. The more effed up it is, the better it is, quite frankly. And what, like, probably my, like, like second favorite thing other than Darrow and his personality and his strategizing towards getting to where he wants I love 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 how gruesome it is I love the blood I love the gore I love the carcasses and people coming out of them like I love everything about it and I want more of it I don't want it to stop so like it's super exciting and I'm just like oh this is so good that's my love for Red Rising that is why I love Red Rising so much it makes me so happy and honestly I I don't even know what to expect for like Morningstar I really don't because I had my assumptions and things like that and within the first page I was already of Golden Sun I was like are you kidding me I wasn't expecting any of this I have no expectations other than I know it's gonna be good whatever he puts out I'm sure is going to be good um, it literally got amazing from Red Rising to epic in Golden Sun so I'm almost positive like I, I I have a lot of hope and I'm almost sure it will be met that Morningstar will not freaking disappoint I can't wait to just go to the bookstore and buy it but anyway I mean like I don't even know what else to talk about Red Rising and Stephanie a love affair I really do love the freaking books and I can't wait for him to keep putting out more and I'm just like you know, I, I don't even know what else to say. So I'm going to stop rambling. See you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, guys. Today is not the same day I filmed the first part of this video, but it is the day. It's February 9th. And you got you guys, do you guys know what February 9th is? Like, do you know? Like, I think I've talked about it at least a couple of times in the past few videos. But... star I drove sorry my nose itches I drove all the way to the Barnes and Noble this morning ish because you know can't wake up that early either uh, and I was just like F it I have to go and physically pick up this book oh my god like it's so pretty I'm just so excited and I'm so sad that like it's over this is the last book so couple of things it's actually slightly bigger than I thought it was gonna be because online I remember reading somewhere that it was gonna be like 400 pages and I was like oh no 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 that's unacceptable because this one you know what how many pages is Golden Sun like 442 so I was like it can't be shorter than Golden Sun how is that even I have them backwards but you know let's just roll with it um but I was like no like it's that's not acceptable but it's actually 524, yeah, 524 pages, so yay! 
<laughs> I'm so excited. Something that I really stinking love. Like, I was looking at it. Oh, I have my receipt in here. Really quickly, let's just admire that beautiful blue. It's gorgeous. Super simple, but it's gorgeous. I have to say, these are literally some of my absolute favorite covers. Like, they're extremely simple, which is something I dig. But literally, everything, well, I'm assuming this will go the same as the other two, but these actually have something to do with the book, the cover. So, you know, good job, people. Good job. But, first off, hold on, hold on. There's a couple of, there's a new map of the solar system. <laughs> it says at the time of the second moon's lord, the uh, second moon lord's rebellion, planetary scale and orbital positions are for illustrative purposes only. But it's like really cool because it divides everything like from Venus, Mercury, Earth, you know, Luna, Loyalist. Okay, stop falling, please. Let's move you here. And then it has like, you know, House Augustus and then it has the Moon Lord's Rebellion. Worlds that have declared independence from the court. What the fuck? What I really love, other than that gorgeous map, is the story so far. He literally gives you, and I think that's amazing, a summary of Red Rising. But these are like spoilery, spoilery summaries. So that's really great because I know Red Rising. I've read that book two, three times already, but I have not reread Golden Sun. And you guys know that when you read books, even though I took my time with it, so I do remember a lot, I can't remember a lot of names. I'm really bad with the names, you know, I'm sorry. But that's like happened with all of the books I've ever read. So, bear with me. But I'm actually really excited that he did that because this gives us a nice recap of what happened in the last books. And I'm just super excited because, you know, I, I was a little upset with myself that... I did not reread at least Golden Sun, but I wouldn't have had time because I, well, I would have had time if I hadn't re read Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, but let's ignore that I did that, which I really enjoyed, by the way. More about that in uh, my review coming up in a couple of days, but, um, ooh, 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 part one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm just so excited. So I am extremely appreciative of the what happened so far, the story so far, and I seriously just cannot wait to read it. You guys know this is literally, of all the books I've ever read, this is still my absolute favorite series. And don't get me wrong, because I love me some Outlander, but this series is just so gripping and so good, and it has just a lot of like you know it, it has a lot of layers to it and that's something that I truly appreciate and I love Pierce Brown's handwriting so I cannot wait to actually read this I'm going to start today I'm actually going to start as soon as I'm done filming this and I'm gonna edit this with the other stuff in a little because right now I need to at least read the first few pages I need to I need to I need to because I won't be able to read it again till tonight so Oh, yes, yes, and yes, I'm so excited. And the bottom one down here. That is gorgeousness, all wrapped up in a nice trilogy. So I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be up either tomorrow or the day after that, and that will be my Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies book review. But anyway, happy reading. If you guys love this series, let me know down below. If you haven't read the series, give it a chance. Like, seriously, give it a chance. This, like, it's, you know, I just, I can't, I cannot talk about how much I love it. I will probably do an overall series review, maybe, although I'm kind of going to do a series review today in a way, at least about the first two books. Um, I don't know. I think it just depends on how I finish this book and how I feel when I'm done with the book, whether I should just review it or more than likely... I am going to talk about it the way I've talked about all the other books, which is just me in awe and amazement. So yeah, bye!